What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be going over the season three battle pass with the blog post that dropped earlier today around a couple hours ago. We got early photos of what the battle pass operators are going to look like. They gave us short descriptions for some of them. We even have a look at the tier 100, the black cell and much more. I've compiled all that information into this one video. So that way you know everything that we know of as of right now. Also posted a video earlier today going over the entire season three roadmap. The update is massive. We didn't even expect it to be this big. It took me 20 minutes to cover all the details. So definitely check that out. I'll have it linked down in the description. Before we get into it, a quick word from our sponsor, MessyModdingStore.com. It's a store that can get you the most exclusive operators, help you complete your mastery camo challenges and much more. And the reason why I promote them is they do everything 100% legit without using mods or unlock tools. And not to mention they have some of the best reviews. So check them out. The link will be down in the description. With the season three battle pass, there's going to be two options that you can get. Number one is the standard battle pass. This will cost you 1,100 COD points. You'll have instant unlock sector rewards, which are going to be two operator skins we'll talk about in just a second it's like every other battle pass since modern warfare 2 there will be a tree system that you'll have to follow meaning you start at sector one and you'll have to work your way up only to the next adjacent sector you can't really skip it so if there's something that you want towards the very end of the battle pass you're unfortunately going to have to work your way through it the second version is going to be the black cell this is going to be the premium version of the battle pass costing 29.99 usd they don't charge you cod points charge you real money mainly for the reason that they also give you cod points along with that so here are the things that you unlock this is the stasis black cell operator it is a fully animated operator skin we got a couple of photos of what this operator actually looks like it's going to be a new character new voice lines a brand new finishing move and all the pretty much standard stuff that you get whenever you get a new operator there's a description they gave us the black cell offering for season three grants you an extensive collection of digitized and animated operator skins in shimmering gold with vertical glyph streams plated tattoo work golden glitch wear mask black fabric and vivid teal blue ascent accoutrements a variety of finely crafted premium items are yours with full access to the season three battle pass black cell owners can enter the season three battle map through the exclusive battle pass sector pretty much what this means is you have the option to either start from where the standard battle pass starts or you can start from the black cell area so say you want the more sniper rifle and it's easier for you to work your way from the top you could do that on top of that they also mentioned you get instant unlock to 20 battle pass token tier skips to help you quickly unlock these battle pass sectors the black cell sector unlocks immediately upon purchase granting you immediate access to the following the stasis black cell operator skin which we did talk about already you also get the aggressive action frag grenade blueprint that has a death effect and the double barrel disrespect finishing move along with all that glitters black cell animated blueprint for the bass b battle rifle with async tracers and desync dismemberment death effect and along with that you get granted 1100 cod points on top of that they say claim your tears and work through the sectors of the season three battle pass and black cell members can earn an exceptional black cell offering including 12 different skins for stasis which is the new black cell operator and my guess is it's basically just the remastered reskin versions of the other operator skins but they go on to mention that you're going to get two makarov skins a snoop dog swagger ripper doc riptide banshee Corso, Byline, and Hush new operator. Those are all going to be available in the standard version. So even if you get the 1100 COD points, you'll still be able to get Snoop Dogg and all those, which I'll talk about in just a second. And then you get seven animated weapon blueprints. And one of them is going to be for a lethal equipment. And usually they always have trace around and animation. So you don't have to worry about that. And addition, if you decide to purchase Black Cell after you already bought the battle pass, they will refund you your 1100 COD points. That's everything we know about Black Cell. Expect a brand new gameplay trailer for that this upcoming Monday. We'll talk a little bit more about that once we get it let's talk about the actual battle pass and the operators that you're going to get along with it the first operator available he's going to be in the instant sector battle pass reward as soon as you purchase it you will unlock him automatically and that will be makarov this is the skin variant that they showcase it says recently a liberated man makarov's plan to resume his operations against years extend its allies are now fully underway and they give a short description about how he plans on pretty much taking over rebirth island years extend and all that good stuff next operator skin that we have is going to be snoop dog apparently right here it says he's going to be available at at launch he will be sped grew and will be available in the instant sector of the battle pass for his description they say all biographical information for this operator has been redacted on top of this operator skin there's also going to be an additional one which will be black cell exclusive unfortunately we don't have a photo of that just yet but once we do i got you guys the next operator we have this is also a brand new operator which will be available on team cortac this is going to be banshee available in sector 13 she's the new operator that we saw along with makarov a part of the Kony group they give a short description about the operator i'll go ahead and show the screenshot if you want to go ahead and read that but it talks about how cortac found an interest in her work and decided to contract her as a mercenary but anyways 
Next operator that we have is going to be unlockable through Sector 2. We're not entirely sure who this is and what skin they are for. It's definitely not a brand new operator, just a skin for an existing one. It sort of reminded me of Graves. At first, I thought it was maybe him. And then when I saw some other photos, I was like, okay, it's definitely not him. Maybe something like a Top Gun Maverick type of skin going on right here. But this is going to be one of the operators that you will also be able to get. And these are the photos I was able to find of this operator skin. The next one we have, once again, another skin that's coming in. Don't have a name. This will be available in Sector 4. Five. I only have one photo and that's of her when she's flying in don't really see the front of her other than in the battle pass sector itself but this is going to be another skin that we have by the way every single one of these skins will have a black cell version which I'll go ahead and showcase a bunch of like other photos of those towards the end and then the next one we have is going to be a sector 10 looks very similar to riptide might actually be a skin for him and we got a couple of photos of what that operator skin looks like he was one of the first operators I was also shown in the trailer and then the next one that we have is going to be at tier 7 this is going to be a new operator skin for doc we also got a couple of photos of what that operator skin will look like doesn't stand out all too much but going on to the next operator skin we have this is going to be for doc B at sector 18 and this is a, pretty much very similar to the one she has except this is going to have a little bit more blue to it her mask is blue as well she's wearing a blue scarf very similar to the standard version of her already the next operator that we have is going to be available at sector 16 looks to be like a coney milsim operator and this is what they will look like it got a couple of photos as well of this operator skin and this is just a little showcasing of the photos that i was able to find the next one that we have this is going to be the tier 100 in the tier 100 there will be two different operators that you get the first one is a brand new operator named hush and because he's brand new he's going to have his own finishing moves voice lines and all that unique stuff and then his name is bashir sherwa a part of Cortac, and he is a part of coney group and he's brought in by makarov good news is there's a second operator skin that you can unlock and this is called the fenrir skin i think it might be for makarov as an extra skin i'm not entirely sure if it's for him or for hush but it says complete sector tier 100 and it's standing next to Makarov so my guess is it's probably for him but this is what the operator skin will look like it's pretty much a full-on werewolf type of style that they got going on uh it looks great in the first photo but then in the other one it's like a dark black so maybe one of them is the standard one of them is the black cell I have no idea what they're gonna do or how they're gonna change that up anyways what are your thoughts and opinions on the tier 100 skins are these definitely worth grinding out the battle pass for do you think this Fenrir skin is fire or would you have preferred something different other than that there was other operators skins that were shown some of them i think are probably going to be a part of black cell just because you see that clear gold and black distinction for example this operator skin has a golden mask which looks to be glowing and it matches the black cell so i definitely think this might be a black cell version it also has the coney logo so it might be for one of the coney operator skins i also see other different types of skins and then there's this one red glowing full-on masked out like robotic -y type of skin that's shown and this one they don't really talk about or showcase in the battle pass but at the same time they showcase him with makarov and Hush, maybe that could end up being a black cell version for one of the operators. Maybe it's a black cell version for Hush. We did see in the past sometimes where they didn't follow the black and gold. They did keep black, but they would try out different things and make the black cell look a little bit more unique. I'm trying to really hope it's for black cell, but based on the photos that I'm seeing, it's probably going to end up being as a store bundle. Some of the other black cell operators that are shown all have that weird looking mask. It's the same thing as the Stasis black cell operator. So probably it, they're all just going to look something very similar to this. But other than that, in the zombies photo, they also show two additional black cell operators one of them i think that might have been for a doc it's a black robe along with a little bit of golden to match that whole black cell theme now some bad news is it looks like rainmaker is not going to be making it into this season's battle pass usually every warlord for example dockaby and carries all made it into the battle pass as some sort of operator you would unlock this time around it doesn't look like they're doing that rainmaker actually looks pretty sick it would have been pretty cool to give him as an operator skin but it just doesn't look like it's going to be the case this time around anyways the final set of cosmetics coming in are going to be the brand new weapons and these are the three that we have the first one is the fjx horus smg which will be available in sector eight this is where it is on the roadmap if you really want to unlock this you'll have to work your way straight up so right from tier one jump to three five and then eight and you'll be able to get it if i'm not mistaken that's going to take you 20 tokens because you need five at tier one then another five at three another five at five and then five at sector eight and that will unlock you the full-on weapon the next one we have is the more sniper rifle which is available in sector four if you want to work your way to this one you'll need to start at one jump to two and then go to four and that will take you a total of 15 five for each of those three sectors and the last brand new weapon is the gladiator melee weapon which will be available in sector 15 that's over on the right side right under black cell so if you get black cell you'll be able 
able to get it within the first day just by working your way down these couple sectors and you'll be able to unlock it if not and you start at the standard you need to work your way all the way towards the end in order to get it but this is pretty much everything that you need to know in regards to the battle pass that we know so far if you get any more information i got you guys updated with the video we are expecting a brand new trailer and entire roadmap for just the battle pass that covers every single sector every blueprint every reward and a full showcasing so i'll cover that for you guys once we get it we're also going to talk about the upcoming store bundles and so much more so definitely make sure you guys hit that sub button so you never miss out on any call of duty news or updates